When you look at a chart, first you must identify the current market structure, what the market is doing and in what phase it is. So first you have to draw your trend lines. So today when I came in, this is what I did. I draw these trend lines like these. You can see trend working lower, break, new low. Trend working higher, break, new high, perfect price action, trend working lower. Uh, normally I start trading around 2 o'clock, which would be around here. So this is what I would draw before I start my day. And of course, I would look for key levels. When you're a beginner, you need to identify the key levels. And the key levels basically are the ones that you can easily spot just with your own eye. So this was clearly a key level. Prices really stacked up here. They couldn't get higher. So I just used, used this resistance and dragged it, dragged it right here to see what happened. So at this point, all I'm thinking is a range day. Even though there is a slight upward bias, this is still, still kind of a range day and I'm expecting prices to go lower. So at, at this point, we got a nice trend working lower. We have a first entry, first leg to go lower and we get a second attempt to go lower. This is where you should go, sh should go short. This is just good enough for scalp. It was a quick, easy trade. But notice how quickly it reversed and we bounce out of here. You know, that was the clue that we might not be in such a range day as I first had, had thought. Because if, if this is a range day, the prices should have moved all the way down to this support. And it didn't happen. The bears got rejected and it quickly shot. Look at how quickly, in one bar, in, in one bar, it quickly rallied through EMA, pulled back. You know, this is a re reversal pattern. So we, get, so we have a first entry short here. Move, move up. First attempt to go low, move up, second attempt to go low. So this was two attempts by the bears to go lower and they both failed. Even though this might have been good enough for scalp, you know, I, I can treat this as a failure because the move should have went down here. So this was a good place to go long. This is the second entry, failed second entry short, but the signal bar is horrible. Me personally, I didn't take this trade. Uh, if you had better, better signal bar on your chart, you probably should have taken these. Uh, but you know the signal bar is very important you know when you're a beginner you need to identify the market structure aka what is the constant what is the content uh, not content mm. what is the context and the signal bar and the signal bar in this case is very horrible it, it's a doji this is a neutral bar you know you can't go you can't go wrong here so if you had better signal bar you should have taken this trade and this served me as a trend line point, so I drew this trend line. Move it higher. Looking at this trade, I didn't take this. Uh, it's just the first entry. It's off the trend line, but then again, you're very close to this resistance, and you know prices mount may turn down on you. So I wouldn't recommend taking take, taking this trade, even though you've got another higher low still right into the resistance not a great trade we break through here oh, my trend lines. you don't have to be 100% perfect with your trend lines just enough so this is the first bounce on the trend line the trend line got confirmed here we drew, we drew this trend line of these first two lows this confirmed the trend line and this confirmed the trend line. This is a good place to go long. Even though this is just the first entry, it's still we've been quite a quite a while away from EMA, and it, it is of the trend line. You cannot ignore this from the trend line. And the range day is clear and not in play. You know this is pretty big move. You know it's not a big old bar. It's still quite bullish, even though it's got bearish tends to it. It is. The prices traded down and they all the way up to the close. This is a bullish bar. You know, it, it could have easily ticked one tick higher and been been very bullish. So this was a good place to go along. And then prices just rallied like crazy. I don't know what happened, but it was a big move up. 
this market just keeps going we are, we are almost at the 350 3500 you know this market i remember when this market was around 2100 it's crazy that we moved so far already there is no trade here this is just the first entry and then we made this higher low prices again straight through the ema pull back i put my limit order right at the close and as you can see there's a little bit gap you know we didn't prices didn't even take lower i missed this trade i was kind of pissed but that's what happened you know there's a gap straight at the open prices racketed out as you can see prices didn't even take lower even even one tick it didn't even happen we we shot through and uh yeah i got left behind on this but at this point this is such a big bullish move that you have to pretty much take this every little correction uh, as i saw this bar i was thinking about going wrong because it's the first entry second entry and then this horrible bearish bar formed but you know that didn't stop me to go long so i put my limit order here went long and when the prices were moving right down here i was thinking i was trapped you know i was thinking what are you doing this is a double top you know the if this was a, such a good trade to go long the prices should have ticked above this green bullish bar instead we made this terrible bearish bar and uh once this bearish bar were forming i i think i left the trade probably at break even or i think i lost one tick because at this point i, I kind of chicken out of this i thought we, we got double top triple top you know you should have bracketed higher so i kind of chicken out of this um a as a beginner i you know i wouldn't recommend to get out of the trades early you should just place them and see if it works out or not but i kind of you know my gut feeling told me that i should leave it because we we should have ticked above this bar this bar traded lower and then traded higher at the close and we didn't even tick above so i thought oh my God, i just got really lucky on this one because imagine not getting filled here and having a loser here that would you know got me mentally and you don't you don't want to do that um i didn't take this trade even though this is really good trade this is first entry second entry long but this is what happens when you you know this is a mental game trading is so mental you know, I got a little bit flustered here. Here, I didn't get filled here. You know, that kind of, kind of was kind of frustrating. And then I took this horrible trade. You know, exited just barely, break even. So this was my trading mistake. I really should have went long here. But you know, what do you do? This is sometimes just you're not strong enough mentally, and doesn't matter how well you can read the price action if you got some inner demons that are. Because that's what happens in trading. You know, sometimes you see this, you see this perfect setup and your mind will talk you out of it. You know, and you're wondering, why didn't I take this setup? Like, what happened? Well, this is what happens. And, and the next time you see horrible setup, but for some reason you will take this trade. You know, you know you shouldn't take this trade. You know, I know I shouldn't take this trade. But for some reason, my mind, my inner demons talk me into taking the trade. You know, and that's what happens. You just gotta, just, it's all about experience you know once you become more experienced at this you will become more real more resilient and you know those inner demons will not come into play but as you can see it still happens it happens even to me i've been trading for so long and still you know i missed this this was a trading mistake on my part i really should have went long here per perfect second entry you got you got the uh, trend line working lower a little bit little correction break move to the new low second entry you know uh, this was my mistake you know but you know that's what happens and then we made this bar i i wasn't kind of feeling it we were kind of i thought there might be stronger resistance but then again this move was so big and we were we rallied up so high that i think you know you can make a case for taking these i wouldn't you know slap you on your head if you took these You know, the first entry, second entry, short failed. But I don't think you want to go long at the very high of the day. And uh, this, this was it for the day. You know, today, not that much eventful day. Uh,
early on much better trades early on first entry second entry short good enough for scalp perfect and uh, at this point it really started to feel bullish because we should have if this was proper range day we should have made the move right down here to the support and it didn't happen so the prices rejected that and instantly went through the EMA first entry second entry short failed so this was a this was two easy good trades the district was a good trade and yeah I've already talked about these trades so just remember always before you start trading always draw your shorter term trend lines find the key levels so they can guide you you know you don't want to use any fancy indicators you know MACD RSI you know none of this works if anybody's telling you that this stuff works you know they're just trying to sell you course for a thousand bucks you know so Isuzu can make five grand a day you know none of this happens if it was that easy everybody would be doing it you need to learn learn to read this chart and uh with time and experience you can do it it can happen so currently i'm scalping for 10 takes which is perfect right now occasionally when the market gets very low on volume and very low on volatility i may only go for 8 takes because prices are not that volatile but as of right now i'm going for 10 takes which is perfect because most of my stop loss are in the range of two two and a half points that's the range of what i'm risking two two and a half points so that's sometimes the signal bars are even bigger and i like to keep my ratio one to one this is perfect ratio so that's for today and um yeah just keep practicing and uh what i would recommend is at the end of each day you want to go and look at the chart and mark where you make mistakes where you made mistakes and what good trades you took so because this is the only way you learn this you, you only learn this by going back and learning from your mistakes so this is not just me you know showing you where you should enter this serves as a lesson to you you know improving it better because you will start seeing this seeing this more in real time once you learn to read the price action after the action you will start to seeing this in real time you know it gets much easier so you know and if you're not sure if, if you don't know let me say this one more thing if you don't know what's gonna happen if you're unsure just don't take the trade not taking a trade is like putting money in the bank let me say that again not taking a trade is like putting money in the bank it's much better to miss a trade than to have a loser so if you're not sure what is going on if, if you think this is a mess and you're waiting for clear setups for more for clear setups you know just stay on the sidelines and let it play out because you don't want to take a loser just because you were guessing you know so yes keep keep trading safe and um, I'll see you I'll see you Friday bye